That's not meant to happen. Following on from last week's video with the recipe about breakfast, I'm doing one today about dinner and lunch. On my channel with Living Simply, all my recipes are going to be simple, aimed at solo vegetarians or couples. If you are more interested in generic cooking in a caravan for a family, an omnivore family, then I would heartily recommend you check out Dan Trudgeon's channel, uh, Meet the Trudgeons. I'll put a card just there. And Dan is about to launch his cooking in a caravan series, but for the solo or couple vegetarian, cooking simply, in a small space, then stay tuned. One thing that really gets my goat as a solo vegetarian is that a lot of recipes either call for an odd amount of something that won't keep, you know, third of a can of chickpeas and then what you do with the other two thirds, or you're making up a huge portion of stuff and then you're putting it in the fridge and eating it day in, day out, and it gets really boring. So all my recipes that I'll be going through on my channel I'll give you the shopping for the whole caboose, which in this case is two dinners and one lunch. That way there will be no food waste. So what we're doing now is we're doing two portions of courgette noodles and one broccoli and chickpea salad. So two dinners, either two days for a solo or one for a couple, and then one portion of lunch on either day two or day three. For the entire thing, you need two courgettes, three carrots, large head of broccoli, can of chickpeas, bulb of garlic, or more or less according to taste, some olive oil for the stir fry, seasoning, black pepper, and salad cream for the lunch or your favorite salad dressing, whatever floats your boat. Finally, the most important gadget you need is called a spiralizer. It's a great piece of kit. Um, I bought this in an independent cook shop. It was a tenner. And you put the vegetable in like the courgette, turn it and ribbons of the vegetable come out. Just like pasta, great for celiacs because it's an alternative to pasta. Great for people who, are, who want to up their vegetable intake because you can have like courgette noodles instead of pasta noodles. I'm sure some people have got food processors that, are, that can do the same, but this is a tenner, it's manual, nothing to go wrong. For one portion of courgette noodles, you need one courgette, one carrot, third of a head of broccoli, third of a can of chickpeas, some olive oil for the stir fry, seasoning, black pepper, and as much or as little garlic as you want. And let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is divvy up the can of chickpeas into thirds. Keep one third for dinner today, one third for dinner tomorrow, and then one third for lunch the following day. That'll do. Next up of course we need to wash the veggies. Just chop the head of our courgette. Some garlic. You can crush your garlic if you like with a garlic crusher, but to prevent having at all, I just chop mine. It helps that I absolutely love garlic, but if you don't, you can crush it, but then it's down to you to clean out the garlic crusher afterwards. I can't be bothered with that. I'd rather just chop it. Right, next up, saucepan. Saucepan. Frying pan, a good sploosh of olive oil, a low heat, chuck in the courgette, garlic, 
then while that's heating, I shall spiralise the carrot. Right, so while that's doing, on a low heat, just going to chop up a few broccoli florets and then we'll throw those in after about 5-10 minutes along with the chickpeas and give it about 5 minutes to uh, warm the uh, chickpeas and the broccoli through and that'll be done. The other great thing about the spiralizer is that you can actually spiralize your broccoli stalks and reduce waste. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. It doesn't really make ribbons, but it cuts it up to small enough little pieces to be palatable. So this has had about five minutes on a medium heat, and you may see there's a ton of water coming out of the vegetables. So it does reduce, so I have to say, give it about five minutes and then add your chickpeas and your broccoli. Turn the heat up to about medium, medium high and give it a good stir fry for about another five minutes until it looks done. Mm. So there you have it, gratuitous white shot, uh, obviously couldn't have a video without Dougal in it. I um, hope you found that useful. This is not only quick and easy, it's also really cheap. I've worked out it's about 70 pence um, per portion and you can get all the ingredients in little as well. So very cheap, very easy. Tomorrow I'll have this again with the other third of the can of chickpeas and then the next day I'll make a salad chopping up what's left over of the broccoli, adding it to the last of the chickpeas, stirring in some salad cream and maybe having that with a little bit of grated carrot as well and that'll be my lunch on day three so not too much to get bored of. Hope you've enjoyed that, um, if you did please give us a thumbs up and um sorry that subscribe isn't it and thumbs up and um i'll look into doing some more recipes and using with my spiralizer but in the meantime it just leaves me to say thanks for tuning in mm. um mm. uh, um no really not mm -hmm. really not